Music is a big part of life, man, for a lot of people. A lot of, you know, individuals have special connections with certain types of music, which is totally cool, and that's what makes music so great. And if you're a big wrestling fan like myself, I mean, you also have that connection with WWE theme songs. But today, I'm not going to talk about the WWE theme songs that I like or the iconic ones. Today, we're going to talk about WWE themes that... I personally don't like. Now, disclaimer, it's probably going to piss some people off, I'm not going to lie, because there are some very popular and iconic and legendary theme songs on here that I just never really liked, man, just not my cup of tea. Now, I can acknowledge that some of these themes are iconic and legendary for their own right. I can totally respect that and acknowledge that. It's just, I don't like these themes. I just don't like them. So, before we dive into the video, though... As always, you got to make sure you subscribe, like, share, turn on all notifications to be updated with all pro wrestling content related right here on this YouTube channel and to be updated when we go live every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time Zone for the No Name Wrestling Podcast. We allow the subscribers to come on to engage with us from time to time, to chat with us, debate with us. We do allow that right here on this platform, so please be on the lookout for that. You know... This is going to be uh, an interesting video because everybody has their own taste in music. Everybody has their own WWE themes they like and dislike. And some of these are very popular ones. Some of these, I think, are kind of universally hated by a majority of the fans as well. So I've kind of did a mixture of both. But you know what? These are just my opinions, just my perspective. Some of y'all can agree, disagree. Let me know in the comment section below how you personally feel about the ones that I don't like. So let's dive into the video, man. Let's start. We got to start off hot. You see it right here, man. I've never been a fan of Shawn Michaels' theme song, man. I just, I just don't like it. I, I just don't like it, man. It's just not good to me. It's trash. I'm sorry. Like, it's an iconic theme song, legendary theme song for sure. It's probably one of the most top 10 legendary WWE themes of all time, but I've never just like, let me listen to Shawn Michaels theme on the Ox. Let me play Shawn Michaels theme on my headphones. I just never really liked his theme, man. I don't know, man. I just, it don't click with me. It just don't click with me. Maybe I'm a little bit different. I'm sure there's probably some people out there who do agree with me, but I feel like majority of the wrestling fans are definitely going to disagree, which is totally fine. If you disagree, hey, you're, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to disagree. You're entitled to feel how you want to feel. But for me, just don't have a connection with Shawn Michaels theme. It, it just doesn't hit for me. I just don't think it's good. Another popular one is King of Kings. I've never liked this theme either. And this is the only Triple H theme I actually don't like. My Time is Great. The Game. That's a top three WWE theme all time if you ask me. Evolution. Line in the Sand. Phenomenal. DX's theme. That's also spectacular. But... I don't know, man. King of Kings, bro. That just, I, it ain't connected with me, man. And I love rock music, but, and Motorhead's great, too. I love Motorhead, but I just, yeah, I just, I'm not feeling this one, bro. I've never liked this thing. I'm not gonna lie. You might be, uh, you might be a little sick in the head if you like Bree Mode, bro. I'm not gonna cap to you, because Bree Mode, definitely one of the worst themes I've ever heard in my lifetime, and... Yeah, if you like that theme, man, uh, listen, I that that's you, but I truly can never understand how people can like this theme song. Rey Mysterio's theme song, I don't like either. Now, let me explain this. I don't like the current version of Booyaka. There's two versions. There used to be a, a first version that they got rid of, uh, which didn't last too long. I don't know why they got rid of it. That first version, to me, is top 10 WWE theme of all time. That may be a hot take as well, but go look it up on YouTube. You can, you can search it yourself. The first version of Booyaka... A banger slaps heavily. This new version, the remix one that he's been having for years, over decades now, I have never liked it. And maybe it's because, you know, I liked the first one so much, I was so mad when they remixed it, so that probably has a lot to do with it as well. They remix Austin Theory's theme song, and yeah, it's trash. It's one of the worst themes I've ever heard. Like, the current version of Austin Theory's theme song compared to what it used to be, doesn't even compare. Def Rebel has some type of sick issue just remixing theme songs. They don't need to remix when they're totally fine. I think that's why a lot of people are always, you know, on Def Rebel's case. But it's like, bro, y'all keep remixing songs and you keep remixing them, making them worse than what they were. So stop changing them. Tiffany Stratton's theme is another theme that I absolutely don't like. I like the Tiffy time part, but I wish they would just, you know, include that intro and this kept her old theme song. But... The Tiffy time, and then when the beat drops, and then like the words and stuff, no, that's that's trash. I, I don't like it at all. New Cat Republic is another, you know, WWE Def Rebel theme that they have going on right now that I absolutely do not like either. The team of Tyler Bate and Pete Dunn, yeah, that, that New Cat Republic theme, that needs to be thrown away in the garbage somewhere. Bret Hart's remix theme, I absolutely hate as well. Now, the OG Bret Hart theme from the 90s and stuff, banger, absolute banger, but, you know, when he came back in 2010, they had that remix version of the theme, and... Yeah, maybe it's because I like the old ones so much, too. Like, sometimes, like I said, when they remix themes, they just don't sound the same and as good as the original ones, man. And I love the OG version so much. Like, 
they remixed it when he came back in 2010, and that, like, yeah, that, that really didn't, you know, that really didn't sit well with me, it still doesn't, like, when he came out on Raw this past Monday, I was like, mm, nah, man, nah, this, this, this is not, it's just not a good theme. This one might shock a lot of people as well, honestly, this might be the biggest hot take of the video, if you ask me, because I don't know if I've ever met anyone who doesn't like Great Khali's theme, well, you just met one, because I absolutely hate it, I don't like it at all. Now, Jinder Mahal's theme song, <laughs> That's a banger theme song right there. I love Jinder Mahal's theme song, but Kali's theme? I don't know, man. It just... It ain't got no connection with me. It ain't got no connection with me. I, I don't feel it. I don't feel the the vibes that other people feel. And a lot of people are probably going to you know, have their jaw on the floor like, What? Are you crazy? Are you tripping? I already know the comments going to be crazy with this one. I already know. I already know. But you know what? I got to stand on business, man. I just don't like the theme. A lot of people love this theme as well, man. Get on your knees. I hate this theme so much, bro. This is probably like one of the top three themes I hate mostly in WWE, bro. Like... Every time this used to come on in SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, I'm skipping it. No matter what, bro. I'm skipping it instantly, bro. I don't want to hear this theme. I don't want to listen to it. I just hate it, bro. It doesn't sound good to me. It's terrible. We used to piss me off, too, when Jack Swagger would come out and he would do the push-ups on the ramp and get pyro. How you get pyro from doing push-ups, bro? This man doing push-ups and getting pyro with this terrible theme song, bro. He used to infuriate me, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. I used to... <sighs> yeah, I don't like this theme at all, bro. I would never like this theme song. I can't get behind it, man. If you like this theme, that's you, but I, I can never get behind this theme song, bro. It's not good. I absolutely hate the remix version of this Cult of Personality theme, bro. Is there a way they can bring back the original Cult of Personality theme, bro? Like, I just, I hate it so much, bro. I can't stand this new version of CM Punk's new Cult of Personality theme, bro. It drives me crazy every time I hear it, every time it comes on. The intro start is very good, but once the lyrics drop, it just don't sound nothing compared to what the OG one sounds like. It don't even sound nearly as good as the OG one does, if you ask me. I don't know why they have a remix one. Maybe they wanted something different for CM Punk's second run, you know, in WWE with this run. Totally get it. It's totally fine. If CM Punk made the decision that he wanted something new, that's his choice. Gotta respect that but is there a way we can get the original version back please somehow can somebody bring it back i don't know what it takes i don't know if tony khan has the rights to the original version because he did have it in AEW. i don't know i don't know but they gotta find a way to bring the og version back because this new version is not it at all i'm not a big fan of our truth theme either man like truth theme it just it's not good now the what's up theme fire man what's up what's up what's up what's up you can get with this or you can get with that man that theme is fire that's a banger i wish they would bring that back too man i'm i really wish they would bring that back for our truth but Ah, the the current instrumental theme song that he's had for a long time, the Little Jimmy one, please get rid of that. Last theme I'm going to discuss is the Sasha Banks Snoop Dogg remix version of her theme, man. I hate that version so much. Now, the OG version, that one was great. The one that she started with in NXT and stuff, came up with the main roster. That theme is fire. That's a top five WWE women's theme song all time for me. But the Snoop Dogg remix version, ah, yes, yes, y'all, so fresh, y'all. I, I... I don't like it, bro. I'm sorry. I don't like it, man. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. Mostly, like I said, mainly it's because maybe it's just a bias there because every time there's such a good version of a theme and they remix it to something else that doesn't sound nearly as good as the old one, it just instantly makes me hate it. And this newer one that they had with the Snoop Dogg version, which, you know, I know he rapped her out at WrestleMania 32 in 2016 and everything, and then they officially put that into her theme song so about a year or two afterwards, so I get that, but... I just feel like the Snoop Dogg version just isn't as good as the original version, which makes me hate the Snoop Dogg version so much more. Some of y'all definitely gonna wanna thrash me in the comment section, and hey, you have every right to do so, man. Voice your opinion, speak how you feel. If you wanna thrash me, you can thrash me. If you wanna, you know, try to shut me down, you can try to shut me down, but hey, we all got themes that we love, we all got themes that we hate as well, so if you want to drop some WWE theme songs that you don't like in the comment section below, feel free to do so, don't hold back. If you just don't like the theme song, you just don't like that theme song, right? I mean, theme songs are objective, music is objective, right? We all have our own taste. Some people like hip-hop, some people like jazz, some people like rock and roll, some people, you know, like classics, some people like, you know, just a mixture of different stuff, Disney music, and you know, there's a lot of different genres of music out there, so just for me... These are WWE theme songs I just do not like at all.